And if I could have any kids that might want to come up and join me, I say kids, but you know, I don't, if you, you know, kids can be all ages, I don't care. Come on up, guys. Come on up and have a seat with me. Hello, everybody. First, I wouldn't be me if I didn't point this out. It has absolutely nothing to do with the rest of what I'm going to say. Pastor Dave left, and he didn't fill up the eternal flame, wax stuff, and I think he did on purpose because he knows it annoys me. So I tried to light it, but there's no oil in it. So the, the eternal flame doesn't mean that Jesus isn't in this place. It's in this place, just a symbol. But it will be lit next week, I guarantee it. Okay, it'll be lit later today, actually. So question for you guys. Do any of you have a pet? Or have you had a pet? What kind of pet do you have? A dog. dog. Do you have a name? Um, Willow. Willow, cute. Pet? Chica. Chica. Is Chica a dog? Chica. Chica. A dog. dog. Okay. Who else has a pet? Goldfish, turtle, cat. Do you have a pet? What do you have? A dog. What's its name? Jesse? Jersey. That's really cute. What kind of pet do you have, Soren? Um, 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 I just used to have it. It died. You know? Oh, it died? I'm sorry to hear that. What kind of, what kind of animal was it? A fish. A fish. It, it, you know, Did you cuddle it? It had to be in the water? Yeah. They don't sell fish anymore in Minnesota. From, from the city. So he had to go get it from the city. This has been a rough, rough goldfish trip. Was it a goldfish or was it a different kind of fish? I had a couple of goldfish one time and I had a Labrador who's passed away now and the goldfish tipped over and my lab picked up the fish in her mouth and spit it on the table saved the fish. Weirdest dog ever. Okay, so a lot of you know me, and if you've been up here before, you know that I, ha- I love animals. I love animals. I love so many animals. If I see a video about an elephant, I'm on Google trying to figure out how I can get a baby elephant. I love animals. Kim, would you advance to the next slide? This was actually about three o'clock this morning, and I had to use a bag of treats to get them all to sit and look at me. But if you will look from from this side, that's Maui, the one that's really weird looking, that's Nala, the black and white one is Winnie, and the one that's off to the side is Harper. Now, they kind of rule the house, I'm not going to lie. I would like to say I shepherd them and teach them, but I had to hold a bag of treats and go, sit if you want one, in order to get this picture. So I think they have me trained more than I have them trained. But today, what you guys are going to be hearing about in Sunday school and what everybody else is going to be hearing about here is the Lord is my shepherd. Do you guys remember, maybe Christmas will help you remember, what is a shepherd? What's a shepherd? What's a shepherd do? Yeah. Huh? 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 I said that first. You can't say that back. What does a shepherd do? Okay. Walks around with funny clothes on and holds a stick because that's what you did at Christmas, right? Okay. Who else might have a guess of what a shepherd would do? Soren, what do you think a shepherd does? I bet he's the Santa. All right. I'm going to say it. He says he thinks that's Santa. Um, You know, you're not wrong in one way. Shepherds guide their sheep and take care of them. And over Christmas, we often talk about Santa and God in the same way, and they take care of us. Was that good? Okay. Um, The reason I'm bringing up my beautiful little dogs that I'm sure have torn up that entire space by now and your animals is because a lot like how the Lord is our shepherd, we are shepherds for our animals a lot of times. We teach them things, we help them not get hurt, right? A shepherd is a person, especially back in Bible times that we talk about in our Bibles, was a person who would spend months, weeks out, outside trying to keep all the sheep together so that the wolves 
who liked sheep meat would not get them because the wolves were like, yum. And the sheep were like, ah. So the shepherd would go out and he would help him to not lose any sheep. And they would also take them from place to place by herding them. If you look at Winnie there, she doesn't do this for a living, but she was actually kind of bred to be a shepherd. She is sort of an Australian shepherd. She's a very fat Australian shepherd that doesn't actually move that much. But that is what her breed is. She, and she does kind of do that. If the dog starts going somewhere, she'll stop and go, oh, I don't think so. You think you're going to get over there? No, you're not. She, she kind of does the shepherding. So that's really cool. So when we talk about the Lord being our shepherd, what does that make us like? I'll give you a hint. Ah. Ah. Yeah, it kind of makes us like the sheep. Now, does this mean that God says we're little animals that should walk around on all fours and get the wool shorn off of us once in a while and watch out for wolves? No. It's like a metaphor. Big word, I know. But it's a word that's telling us God is like our shepherd. Jesus is like our shepherd because they help us know where to go. I'll tell you one really quick story, and then I promise you can go to Sunday school. The, the one that's all the way on that end, Harper, she's very, very scared of everything. She's just always been that way. And one day, two years ago, in the middle of winter, it was December 29th, my front door, sometimes if it's really cold, doesn't shut all the way. And I didn't get my front door shut well, and she snuck out. And I live right on a main road, so I was really scared. And I got on Facebook, and a lot of you probably saw it, and I put out a post, and I, I don't know how, how it happened, but all of a sudden it was shared, and it was so cool. I had people driving around all over town helping me try to find Harper, and it turned out she was so scared. She was out all night long in the cold, and she usually sleeps in my bed, so that was pretty different. We found her in a field not too far from my house, and she was sitting in the snow, right in the middle of the field with nothing around her. And we figure it out later on that she was doing that because she was watching herself all around so that nothing could creep up on her. And when I found her, I walked over to her and my heart broke because she was even scared of me. She had been out and she was freaking out. And she had been out all night and she was cold and she didn't know what to do. And she was even scared of me and I have been loving her since she was teeny tiny. So every time I walked closer to her, she'd back away. And I was so sad because I was like, how am I going to get my dog? So somebody gave me some, one of the car loads that were helping me, threw food at me. So I was taking the food, and I was on my knees in the snow, and I was just throwing it. it was, she was probably from me to the wall. And I was throwing it, just trying to get her to come closer, come closer. And I was yelling. I was going, Harper! Come on, it's mommy. Come here. You know, I was trying tough love. I was trying real. I was trying it all. I was so sad and so cold. And finally, I turned around, and I was looking at somebody else that was trying to help, and I was like, I don't know what to do. And when I did that, Harper stood up out of the snow and started walking towards me. And we all kind of went, okay, what do we do? And so I took a couple more steps. Harper took a couple more steps. As soon as I'd turn around and look at her, she'd stop and back up. She followed me four blocks in the snow, right behind me, the whole way, all the way into the house. But if I stopped and I acted like I was, you know, going to be mad or something like that, she'd stop. Sometimes those little small voices, all I would do is go, good job. And she followed me. I've got a video of it that a stranger that I don't know shared on Facebook of me just walking with this dog following me right behind me. But every time I, want, I wanted so badly to stop and cuddle her, she'd stop and she'd, she'd freeze. But as long as I kept walking, she kept walking. God is our shepherd. We don't always make the greatest choices, guys. Agreed? Yeah, but guess what? He still walks in front of us, and we still follow because we love the Lord, and we have faith that we're going to all be okay. All right? Now, when you go to Sunday school, you're going to hear a bunch more stuff about this. And Betsy and Myrna 
and I don't know if we have any parents on the list today, are going to be leading Sunday school so I can keep leading these kids, okay? So I will see you guys after church. Should we get going? All right, let's pray. Everybody stand up. Not you guys. You don't have to stand up. These guys. All right, let's put our hands in. Dear God, thank you for being our shepherd. We love you. We love you. Bah. In your name we pray. Ready? Amen. Thanks for coming up, guys.